Okay, so we have, okay, we have, we have a lot to go over since I think the last time I spoke with you guys. The, there has been a lot completed. So, the intake manifold is on. As you can see, uh, fuel rail, injectors, we have our nice uh, feed line coming in here. I'm gonna see if we can maybe get like a little clamp or something to hold it kind of right against, flush against the intake manifold. I mean, man, this looks so clean. Wirings is pretty much complete. I, I'm, I have not finished, so don't judge me yet. Um, it's kind of, let's see if I can get you in there. Kind of not, unfortunately, but um, very straightforward. We talked about all the pressure sensors and the temp sensors there down by the oil. So all that's taken care of. Starter's hooked up. We do still have to kind of figure out alternator. Um, so basically what we got here, this is a very expensive um, 150 amp alternator. And over here we have the RB25 alternator. Now the problem is with this one, it just doesn't fit, doesn't line up. I guess we're basically gonna upgrade the internals of the 25 with 150 amp internals, if that makes sense. So that'll take care of the alternator, but um, everything else, as you can see, uh, TPS is on, air control valve, radiator we just tossed in, we are gonna go ahead and make some extra mounts down there at the bottom to kind of hold it like that. It's gonna be tricky, as you guys can see, this is gonna be a bit of a interesting situation, so we'll have to work on that when the time comes. I put a little radiator hose right here, uh, from the coolant neck into our little collector. So um, we're getting there guys. It's coming along really well Hopefully it's been enjoyable for you. There's been a lot a lot of work getting done So I'm super excited now. I'm basically working on this guy, which we have a very expensive Piece of kit right here. This is the Ross performance cam angle sensor um, Cam position. Yeah cam angle sensor. So we got a little cherry installed you know, it kind of works off that little trigger wheel right there. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and install this. I think I have it done correctly. I'm gonna send some pictures to make sure it's it's perfect. But um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and install that and uh, wire it up. So basically just how this works, uh, I believe they're called cherries. And I'm trying to get my terminology right here. Basically, you wanna make sure it doesn't, cause this little notch right here on the, I guess it's called the trigger wheel. I'm not 100%, 100% too sure. But um, this little wheel is what triggers and shows where the position of the cam is. So obviously you wanna make sure you have clearance between this and your cherry so it doesn't hit the damn thing. So about two to three to four millimeters is good. I kind of have mine about that. All right, so I just realized the freaking bracket isn't even back there. So I, got, I forgot it's at my house. I gotta go ahead and install that before we can thread that in. I went ahead and flipped this whole like little uh, neck around. That way this little fitting comes out this way. However, now even with this cap on, I mean, look at that. That's, there is not much room. That's like an inch and a half. So hopefully we can get a real tight radius on there. Shoot her out. So now, unfortunately, as much as I don't want to do this because it's kind of going to make it a little, not messy, but you know, we'll try and make it look clean. The whole fuse box harness is coming back in the engine bay. So, uh, some loose wire here. I'm basically wrapping it back up. I got me like a little acetone rag, and uh, we're going ahead and kind of cleaning up the whole loom to make it look as clean and as good as we can make it. So, making good progress. Okay, so uh, fuse box is in. As you can see, kind of got it all running along the top here. The nice thing is, we won't see any of this wire here. Look at this mess, man. The nice thing is we won't see any of the wire up top because we're getting like a cooling panel like what my car has, so all that will be hidden. Um, and then, um, yeah, so everything pretty much, the only thing I'm like confused about, I'm probably just overthinking it. Aren't we missing a couple things there? Three open plugs, I feel like we should, I think we definitely need, I think we definitely need those. Um, it's weird because I feel like this top one is an alternator one or something like, I don't know. I feel like we definitely need some stuff here. So, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna look into that. <laughs> but I mean, everything, every plug is used up on the harness. So we're, we're I guess we're good. So now, uh, power steering guys, we're using it. I believe this is an RB25, uh, gosh, don't quote me. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to double check on that. So what, as you can see, one of the little, this little front guy right here, as you can see, it's way taller. So we're gonna need to shave that guy off, basically, so he sits up flush against the block with all the rest of his buddies. Alrighty, guys, so quick little progress up this since the last time we spoke. I actually went ahead, we got our fin uh, final fittings left for the fuel system. So guys, the fuel system is all plumbed up. We have the return line, 
going which is 6 a.m. going here into the fuel pressure regulator and then we have the the line going back into our fuel tank which just goes straight down and into our fuel tank <laughs> obviously the fuse box is in I kind of forgot where we left off however I also went ahead and wired in the cherry sensors for the uh, the cam angle sensor we have a very fancy fancy you know Ross performance uh, kind of kit, I guess, if you want to call it, for the crank and or the crank and the cam angle sensor. The crank angle sensor is installed right there. You guys see that? Wait, wait. You see that little little red guy right there? Little cherry, they're called. Uh, that's basically sensing like the teeth that are on the crankshaft itself. So it just kind of gives a general idea as to where like everything's at at the point in time I guess but I got those all wired up and complete also I put a new Nismo thermostat in that's all good to go we're coming along pretty well guys I think we're gonna get to the point where we can install some fun stuff and by fun stuff I mean our turbo setup uh, we don't have the gasket yet for the manifold so everything's just gonna kind of be like a rough mock right now um, I also went ahead and we got the harness for the wideband sensor that's gonna obviously be going into the downpipe somewhere I went ahead and wired up the boost controller solenoid, which is just gonna, it's kinda just chilling right there for now. We have to figure out a way to mount that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just toss the exhaust manifold on and the turbo, and we'll go kinda see fitment and uh, we'll kinda map things out. And then we'll, uh, I mean, goddamn, we're, we're, we're making good progress, man. We're making some good progress. That looks so good. Like that looks so good right there, man. This whole engine, this whole car, it's like a dream setup, like literally. So we have, um, we'll have to obviously clock the turbo however we want it because we're gonna be welding on this little 90 onto the actual housing right there. All right, guys. So the wastegate uh, we have ours right here. I believe this is like a 60 mil street massive. Um, I believe we do have to put this ring in here. A little V band. Alrighty, guys. So there's pretty much the hot side all kind of mocked up. Um, just a heads up, Garrett 35 or GTX 3584 RS uh, T4 divided rear housing, Cinco manifold. Uh, goals, I doubt they're watching, but guys, you guys honestly know how to make the best manifolds that I've seen, personally. These are incredible. I mean, the craftsmanship and just quality itself is just amazing. This thing's going to sound so damn good. Um, yeah, uh, tile, I think knockoff, blow-off valve, but I guess apparently m mad people that run 1,000-plus horsepower builds have that wastegate. Well, not blow-off valve. Wastegate. Uh, uh, and they have no issues. So as far as intercooler, well, okay, first off, downpipe. Uh, the housing here is three inch, but we're gonna go straight up to three and a half. This car is gonna actually be taken over to my buddy's place to get all the fab work done, so. One of the things I have to figure out is our coolant sensors, like the factory ones. This one here is like the main coolant temp sensor, and then this one right here is like a little spade connector that hooks on just so you have like your dash gauge reading. All right, guys, I got really good news. The fuel system is complete. Uh, as you guys can see, we actually just did, we painted that black, which is awesome. It doesn't stick out nearly as much. The only thing we're still waiting on is the bracket for our surge tank, but obviously wiring is done, plumbing is all done, we just were basically waiting for this last little 90 degree fitting, and uh, this is this is what, uh, this is like the return, or no, excuse me, this is, this is the feed line from the pump, like the OEM pump, so this is gonna be filling, obviously fuel filter, so first off the bat, filtered fuel into the surge tank, which is awesome, uh, and then obviously you guys, we, you know, we, we went around this whole process as we went, and then, um, yeah, so we got it all hooked up, got it connected, Thing is coming along really well. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying so far. We have so much content coming up more on this car behind me, and uh, I've made so much progress since this video has gone up. So uh, the, the car is, I mean, it's not done, but I mean, this engine bay is pretty much 
it's pretty much done. Uh, just have a couple little things to button up, guys. We have a lot of fab work to do. You know, downpipe, intercooler piping, um, wastegate, stuff like that. A couple brackets for our tucked radiator. But all in all, guys, this thing is looking so damn good. Um, it's, it's incredible. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. That's a little new, so stay tuned for that. I guess, hey, quick heads up. If anyone out there needs a turbo, man, uh, we got a really large, large mammoth precision 67, 68 ugh, right here. Oh, Jesus. That's a heavy girl. Ow. Ow. So, uh, yeah, if you guys need a turbo, hit me up. Brand new ball bearing. Oh, God. Uh, literally never been ran. Uh, looking for 2000 bucks. It's... 2500 brand new so you save yourself 500 bucks it's good for like 1200 horsepower the thing's a beast but yeah guys that's gonna be it thank you so much for the support subscribe if you guys have not yet done so i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy peace